Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and welcome to a new horror game called Amanda the Adventurer. Now many of you have been asking me to play this game and I have no idea what it entails other than it seems to be a series as you can see along the side of the screen here of VHS tapes that we have to watch with a kids TV show on them which is I guess Amanda the Adventurer. Sounds a little bit like Dora the Explorer or something. However as this is a horror game I'm guessing these tapes are cursed in some way and probably feature either a ghost or a demonic entity. I always find the trope of cursed children's media as quite a unnerving one because because obviously a children's cartoon is meant to be fairly safe and you know innocent so when you kind of pair that with something horror based and make it corrupted and sort of evil it kind of makes me a little uneasy so this could actually be quite scary and also I believe this is a game jam game so it was put together I think in a weekend or something very quickly the premise of this game is digging through your attic you found a box set of old children's TV show Amanda the Adventurer starring a brave girl named Amanda and a cowardly sheep named Wooly. You don't recall any specific episodes or characters in the show or what happens in the show exactly or much about it at all come to think about it but it still feels strangely familiar. Curiosity takes hold and you decide to watch the tapes and let the nostalgia slash horror take you back to a simpler age. So here we go then guys, we've got three tapes, we're going to check these out, let's go with tape one. First tape in, let's get started. Ah, oh, here we go, Amanda the Adventurer. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. This is already and creepy. I love apples. Do you like apples? Just the way they're animated. Oh. I have to say yes or no. I do like apples, actually. I'm allergic to apples. So I'll put apples. yes. That's Has okay. got some gameplay you then. You should never be afraid to try something new. But we don't even know where the store Look how the, is. The houses are dancing. Do you know where the store is? Do I know where the store is? Uh, oh, I get to select. So we've got a swing set, a house, some bushes, or the store. This is the store, obviously, right? Yeah, that's right. Let's go. Yeah, you got it right. Store. It sure looks crowded. It's kind of interactive. I like and it. And look, there are apples. Can you see apple? Can I say apple? Oh, I have to type. It's kind of like a one of these. It's kind of like one of these educational video games. It's a bit like Baldi's Basics. This actually. Good job. Now we can make apple Hey, pie. I can spell. Hey, eh, guys, are you impressed? Oh, and the credits whizzed by. I couldn't actually read what those credits said. I bet if we paused that like we maybe could see something creepy. I'll sort of have a look in editing guys and if I see anything I'll put it on screen now and point you to it with some text or something like here's what I saw when I slowed down the credits something like that. But either way we're gonna go to tape two now this is episode two. The first one kind of not too creepy apart from the animations being a bit weird but generally a pretty innocent kid show right so let's see what episode two has in store. Kind of nervous. Oh, oh, this is already darker. Okay. We don't have much time. He's speaking Whatever to us. Do, Hi everyone, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. He said we don't have much time. Today we're going to get meat for Grandma. But is a Grandma a vegetarian? Can you tell us where the butcher is? We're gonna get meat for Grandma, but she's a vegetarian, says Wooly. So now I have to select, obviously, where the meat comes from. I wonder if we get it wrong if something bad happens. But I'm just going to go here. This is for Butcher, obviously. So let's click on this. There it is. Let's go. Yeah, I wonder if we click I'm on the wrong you. thing. You know. Oh. Can you tell the meat man what we need? That's creepy. He's Willie's saying, no, don't do it. He's saying, do not tell the meat man what we need. And the meat man actually looks like something from Baldi's Basics. Kind of got that clip art style look, you know, from the old Windows sort of clip art programs. We need meat. So we've got to tell him we need meat, right? That's right. Man, what's he going to bring out? Like a body or something? Like a corpse, I bet, right? Oh no, just meat. Maybe it's grandma that he's cutting. Maybe that's grandma's, like, stomach or something. I do not like how that music's sounding, you know? That's spooky. Oh god, look at her head. Amanda just looks at Wooly and everything gets really sinister. 
the tape sort of fell out of that time. We didn't even get credits, I don't think. This is like properly eerie now, guys. We've got one more tape to take a look at. So I guess we go for it. Select episode three and play it. Here we go, the final tape. And this is much more sinister. An eerie farmhouse. It's dark out. Let's go home. Let's go home. Oh man, we have to click on the house. Guys, I don't want to. We could click on the park. Maybe I'll play for it again quickly as it's so short and see like if I select something different, what happens. Knock on the door. Oh God, her face is like properly sort of uh, demented now. She's kind of like hysterical almost. She's like, knock on the door. Uh, I guess we knock on the door. Man, she looks angry. Oh, she's demonic now. Fully, <laughs> fully demonic. What did she just say? God, I don't know what she just said. What do I type? It's five letters. Is it Wooly? Oh! No, I was going to try and put in Wooly, but no. Oh, God, that's a pro proper demonic entity there. I was trying to put in Wooly because I couldn't find Wooly anywhere. So that's the end, but we can do it again. Let's quickly go through it again, guys, and let's see if, like, this time, if we make a different choice, like, what will happen. It seems like we had different options so if we go to tape one and i'm just gonna go through this really fast now just speed run it <laughs> any percent speed run you know and just see if we can make something different happen you know hi i'm amanda and i'm we know amanda is demonic apples. now though do you like apples she's like cursed uh, i'm gonna put no i don't like apples i'm allergic to apples that's okay. You should never be afraid to try something new. But we don't even know where the store is. Right, let's do select you know something different this time. Do I know where the store is? Go on my house. Do you know where the store is? Do you know where the store is? See, she gets a bit agitated when we can make the wrong choices. And there's nothing we can do other than select the store now. So it seems like we only yeah, ever get to make the right. choice she wants let's us go. to make. We're at the store! It sure looks crowded. Bah. And look, there are <laughs> apples. Can you see apples? Right. I'm gonna say no. Say apple! No. Apple! No. Good oh, job. it made now me type apple. apple. I was saying pie. no again. That's interesting. So, yeah, whatever you do, your sort of choice is predetermined. Amanda will get a little bit annoyed but she will ultimately make you pick what she wants you to pick. And I'm guessing that's gonna continue as we go through to the end. So I think that's probably where I'm gonna leave it, guys. I don't think I'm gonna play anymore because she'll just make us pick what she wants us to pick. But it's definitely an interesting game. I think because it's a game jam game, it's obviously limited in what you can do. But if they kind of expanded this into a longer game that was like maybe half an hour long and it had lots of different choices, and you could actually alter the story depending on what you picked. That could be really interesting, and I'd definitely play something like this. It has that creep factor that some of these creepypasta stories and sort of urban legends about creepy haunted kids shows usually have, and it gets that right, that sort of unnerving feel as you play through it. So I definitely want to give the developers a big shout out for this. And I've just read this was actually created for the Dread XP found footage jam. Now Dread XP published some really, really good horror games from really talented creators out there in the horror community. So I'll definitely link as always this game below. It's free to play. If you want to try it for yourselves, just follow the link. You can download a copy for yourselves. With that said, I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. I've now played the game that you've been asking me to play, and I definitely had a good time with it. If you did enjoy this video, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will see you all on the next one.